Now we talk about the EV eyelets wiring. Here we make eyelets, okay? Eyelets are basically like this, and we have like this. So the wire is made into a loop, okay? So here a loop is formed in the center of the wire, as we can see, right? And we'll see this, right? How we're doing it, rubber band and all what we're doing to fix. So let's see the procedure first. So here also we are taking a 26 gauge wire, stainless steel wire, 20 centimeter in length. So let us suppose this was our 20 centimeter long wire. We have to make a loop at the center of this, okay? So we will be taking, you'll be taking any instrument and then we will be making this loop, okay? By twisting it around that instrument. Okay, so now we have the loop, okay? We will be passing it interdentally like so, okay? And we will be taking it out from the distal surface of the tooth, okay? And then one wire, it will pass from within the eyelet and it will just come out and here we'll be twisting the ends together, okay? This can be repeated on the other tooth as well. Now make sure that whenever you are tightening the wire, okay, the tightening should begin from the molar region of one side and then on the other side and then we will work towards the incisor area. This is done because we don't want to create any kind of cross bite. If we tighten the wire on one side first, a cross bite might be produced and if we are tightening the anterior wires, it can produce a posterior cross bite. Okay, so make sure that you start from the molar area of one side and on the other side and then reach towards the incisor area. Also, when we tie these wires, they should be loose first. Why loose? Because first we have to establish a proper occlusion and then we have to tighten it. In case we have any edentulous area like some teeth are missing, what we can do, we can use a modification that is known as the clove hitch method. So let us revise. We made a eyelet first. We inserted the ends interdentally between the two teeth, okay? And we are forming a W shape, okay? So one end is going from the mesial side of the tooth and other end is going out from the distal side of the tooth. And this will go inside the eyelet and we are going to twist it. We are not going to twist it very tightly because first we have to establish the occlusion. So that's about it. Now, here, rubber bands are used to fix the mandible to the maxilla. Okay, we did the upper arch, we did the lower arch, we established the occlusion and we use rubber bands to fix the mandible to the maxilla. So, whenever we need to remove it, we can easily do so, right? Because we have a rubber band there, we can easily remove it, okay? Now, in case we have a breakage in one of the eyelet assembly, we can just remove this eyelet and replace it instead of removing all others. Unlike the previous one we saw, okay, we can just remove and replace one and we are good to go. Then we come to the cold stouts multi-loop wiring. Here we take four wires because we are choosing four quadrants to work on in this technique. And we also have a solder wire, okay. We'll see how we are doing it. So, first requirement, we are using four pieces of wire. This is the same 26 gauge, 20 centimeter long wire. And we are using a solder wire. Four quadrants are chosen for the wiring. So first what we are going to do, we are going to attach the solder wire on the buckle surface of the first quadrant. Okay. And then let us suppose we are doing it, right? Okay. So let us suppose this is our solder wire. Okay. So it is going to be a little thick. Now we will be taking one of these wires. Okay. And we will fold it like so. Okay, so one wire will be called as the stationary wire. So this side of the wire will be adapted on the buckle surface of the quadrant. And we have another end that is called as the working end. Okay, so we have the stationary end and the working end. So the stationary end it will start from the anterior and it will move towards the posterior. Okay. This wire, it will be brought towards the distal surface of the second molar or the last tooth. So this wire will now be called as the working wire, obviously, because we are going to work with it, right? We are going to twist and turn it all around. So that's why working wire. It will be going from the mesial surface of the second molar, 
mesial interdental space and it will come out from inside the solder wire as well as inside the stationary wire. Now here we will loop it around both the wires okay and then again it will be back from the buckle to the lingual side alright. Then from the lingual side it will again go to another tooth okay and same procedure will be repeated like it will go inside the solder and the stationary wire then again will be forming a loop and it will come okay from the buckle to the lingual and this will be repeated. So once we are done with these loops this solder wire it can be shifted forward okay. So once this wire is out of the way you can imagine it as a you can imagine it as a needle like you remove the needle. So we just have the thread. Now what we are going to do we are going to twist it thrice so, so that we can get a eyelet formed okay. Similarly when this solder wire is pushed forward so that it's not hindering here we can again twist it thrice to form a loop okay. Finally what we are going to do when we reach the end we will hold the stationary and the working wire together and they will be twisted okay and they will be cut and they will be tucked in the interdental space. Now this same procedure will be followed in the other three quadrants this one also and in the opposite arch also. If you are going to use elastic you can bend this eyelet so that it can act as a hook to hold the elastics means we will be bending it away from occlusal plane. But in case we are going to use wires then we will be bending it towards the occlusal plane. So rubber bands are used to fix the mandible to the maxilla hence it can be removed whenever needed without disturbing the main wiring okay. So initially we recommend that we use elastic so that in case the patient is vomiting you can easily remove the rubber bands and get him to vomit instead of using the wire that will be difficult okay. So this was about the various wiring procedure I hope you found the video helpful do let me know in the comment section below. You can join channel membership for more premium videos of this kind. You can also join my premium oral surgery tutorials on my website where I will be having more such videos that will not be made available on YouTube. You can find the link to our website in the description box below. I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Allah Hafiz.